Hello guys and girls, welcome to this video where I would I would like to show you the Tiger P or the Porsche Tiger German Tiger 7 heavy tank, which is the other heavy tank, uh, also Tiger 7 next to the Henschel Tiger, which is the famous uh, Tiger 1 from the World War 2, uh, which is also in the game. Basically the Porsche Tiger or the Tiger P was the unsuccessful rival of the Henschel Tiger. Uh, so yeah, some, some, I think one or multiple of those uh, were actually used as a common vehicle or something like that. Uh, but yeah, Porsche did convert uh, the hulls that were created for this tank to Ferdinand tank destroyers. So what can be said about the Tiger P? Uh, basically you have better armor on paper than the Henschel Tiger, you have a longer silhouette. 200 uh, millimeters uh, on the front, which, uh, well, not all around. Uh, you have those cheeks at the front of the tank, uh, which are 80 or 60 millimeters thick, so really easy to be uh, to be penetrated there. Even tire five or maybe even tire four tanks can get through uh, those cheeks. Also, the lower plate uh, very easy to uh, get penetrated there. Uh, which is also a weak spot on the Ferdinand tank destroyer because it has the same hull. So yeah, height uh, lower plate uh, basically wiggle the tank tank around a bit uh, so you don't present a chance to be shot at those cheeks. Uh, the turret it has a manlet uh, uh, around 100 millimeters thick, which should give you around 200 uh, millimeters of protection uh, on the turret. But once again you have a cupola sticking out, so yeah, don't, don't really rely on the armor that much. Uh, basically you just want to play from a cover on, uh, and uh, you don't want to get hit, basically. Uh, and if you uh, have to expose your tank, well, try to uh, show your opponent uh, the side of the armor which can hold uh, the shot. Uh, which is basically only the front or the manlet of the turret. You always want to move and do not show the call out. Uh, basically those weak spots that can be penetrated easily. Yeah, so we are here on airfield. This is a Tire 8 uh, battle. We are a Tire 7 tank here. I'm ba basically in a spot uh, well, which should be used by medium tanks. Uh, not in this exact position because medium tanks want to get uh, further up the hill and snipe those uh, tanks that uh, are uh, coming by uh, through the valley. So, but basically we don't have any more uh, medium tanks in the game. The type is already in the garage, uh, so is the M4 Sherman. So basically I will play <laughs> a role of a medium tank or a sniper from the ridge line. So I see three tanks down there and I will try to uh, take a few shots uh, at them. And I have put the IS-3 on fire. And here we go, the STA, a uh, Japanese uh, tire right medium. And uh, there I see an 87 uh, tank destroyer uh, camping. And I don't know what he's doing, he's just not moving and, and I'm taking shots at him. So yeah, one other thing, uh, the gun depression is not really that great. Uh, uh, the Tiger P uh, basically stayed as it was. The Henschel Tiger was buffed and it has now around 8 degrees of gun depression when I'm not mistaken. So better, uh, better gun depression than the Tiger P. Also the aiming time of the gun is uh, 2.9 on the Porsche Tiger compared to uh, 2.5 or 2.3 on the Henschel. So yeah, uh, there you saw uh, I, was, uh, I took a hit from the KV-4, basically didn't penetrate. So yeah, the armor uh, did uh, its job fairly well there, but I think uh, the KV-4 has a stock gun, which is basically the same Russian gun in many iterations, uh, used on uh, KV-1S uh, through IS-6 and uh, KV-3 tanks like that. 
so 175 millimeters of penetration and uh, as you saw the armor uh, didn't blink so penetration like that shouldn't be really a problem if you don't show uh, the opponent a weak spot and here I am in a bad situation I didn't look at the minimap uh, basically a Hellcat and a T-32 and it flanked me and I was also hit uh, by the RT for 700 uh, damage and uh, yeah I just bounce uh, a, a gold shelf with <laughs> the back of my tank so no tiger pores for you Hellcat even with gold shells I will <laughs> bounce of my ass <laughs> and yeah my gunner and the loader uh, were both uh, hit by those uh, shots so I have revived the gunner because I will still need him and basically we want to take out the Hellcat and uh, only the artillery should be left I take a snapshot there, but uh, didn't hit the Hellcat like it was not meant to be. So can he get our RT or can we defend the RT? I was on the lookout for the Hellcat because uh, well, the artillery uh, is not really <laughs> uh, in a position to hunt uh, us free down, I mean the enemy artillery, if he has no vision on us. Probably he had vision on the, the Lorraine and uh, probably also the SFL of uh, the body and this, so yeah, but he didn't have uh, his eyes on me, so. <laughs> And I'm going to check a spot where RT usually hides uh, in the corner of the map, uh, B line, B0 sector. But I see nobody there, so I just have to guess uh, that the RT is still on base somewhere, maybe J0 or yeah, a location like that on the mini minimap. So yeah, basically the game will be over soon. Just to sum up the Tiger, uh, it has the same gun, basically should have the same turret or the manlet, uh, the same protection as the Henschel Tiger, but the gun uh, is, uh, well, it is the same gun, but long, uh, it has a longer aim aiming time, 2.9, so you have to aim quite a while. Also, also the manlet is weaker, uh, compared to the Tiger, to the Henschel Tiger. Uh, you are also slower, uh, a larger silhouette of the tank, so basically the only, uh, well, plus point I would get uh, to this tank is uh, the fake front, frontal armor, which you can cannot really rely on, so... <laughs> yeah, I would rather play the Henschel. But uh, that doesn't uh, mean that I that you cannot have uh, great uh, games in this tank. So this game was also an A an A tanker and uh, around 4k damage done. Some shots were not uh, accounted for by the uh, mod. So I will show you the end plates. And thanks for watching. And see you in the next one. Bye bye.